Alright, so today is actually May 5th. I actually probably will end up uploading this um, tomorrow. But anyway, so today is May 5th and today is Kodomo no Hi or Children's Day in Japan. Now this day is actually a national holiday and the holiday is set to celebrating children and their individual personalities and also their happiness. Um, so on this day there are actually quite a few um, symbols and different types of food and traditions which you'll see quite commonly if you're in Japan on this day of the year. So probably the most well recognized of these are koinobori or the cup flags. Check these out guys, how cool are they? So these are the konobori flags that you can see up here and it's absolutely massive. Now these are actually quite symbolic in their own right and you'll actually see these both um, hung in public places as well as private homes and around shops and pretty much everywhere you'll see these flags. Now they're actually quite symbolic. Um, you'll find that the Usually there will be at least three of them. Usually the top one will be black, which is supposed to represent the father and the family. Um, the second one will be red to represent the mother. And the consequent ones will be different colors, sometimes blue, sometimes green, sometimes pink, um, to represent the children that is within that family. Now it actually comes from a Chinese um, tradition, I think, where carp uh, traditionally seem to be very strong and the carp that swim upstream eventually turn to dragons. So it's seen as a symbol of strength and vitality for the children. So on this day you'll actually also see a lot of decorations featuring Kintaro who is a character from a Japanese folktale. Now Kintaro was said to be very strong and often he's also riding a um, giant carp wearing a kabuto or a samurai helmet. And these are all the symbols of um, Kodomo no Hi. Um, they're very all kind of focusing towards representing strength and vitality and a prosperous future for the children of that family. So there are also some foods attached to this particular day um, which are very very common in Japan. Now these are Timaki and Kashiwa Mochi. Now these are actually popular kind of in different areas of Japan um, and I've got some so I really want to show you guys what they are. Alright so this is the first so this is kashiwa mochi, which is actually a like sticky rice cake if you've ever seen mochi, that's what it is. Um, and it has um, red bean paste in the center. There's actually a couple of varieties. One actually has, I think, white bean paste with miso in it, um, but this is the red bean paste. Now on the outside you can see, let me grab one. Oh, packaging in Japan, I swear, it will be the death of me. Alright, so if you can see, the mochi is actually wrapped in an oak leaf and this is down to the fact that it's actually representative of the fact that oak trees um, won't shed old leaves until they have new leaves um, already on the branches. So this is kind of seen as a symbol of Children's Day. So as you can see, I'm going to try this and I've never actually tried it before. Um, you actually don't eat the leaf. I wasn't too sure about this until I had to Google it because I didn't want to die from like poisoning of eating leaves. I'm not sure they're even poisonous, but still, I checked. All right, so you unwrap the leaf. Oh, it smells good. And mochi, as you can see. Let's try. Hmm. Oh my god, mochi is so sure. I forgot this. So if you can see inside, you have the mochi on the outside and the red bean paste on the inside. And it's very sweet, it's very sticky, it's very chewy. And you can taste slightly the kind of taste of the oak leaf leaves. Alright, so this is chimaki. Um, now again this is a kind of mochi which is actually wrapped in bamboo leaves and then steamed within these. Now um, these are very popular and very common and are kind of originally from the Kansai area for Children's Day um, probably because I think oak leaves, oak trees are not so common in this area. Um, however I think the concept for chimaki actually comes more from a Chinese um, sticky rice dumpling thing. Um, so I think that's possibly where the original idea came from. But this is Chimaki if you can see. They always look really cool. 
And let's give it a go. I don't actually know how to. They're all. <gasps> Is this witchcraft? <laughs> Success! Yes! I'm just flicking myself in the eye with it. So, it's actually all wrapped up and they're a little bit difficult to get into. Not gonna lie. I'm struggling. And it's unwrapped. Alright, so this is one Timaki. Yay! Alright, so you start off by unwrapping. No, I just started wrapping it up. So you start off by unwrapping it. Of course, they like to make this as difficult as possible. Like so. And you can oversee. So you unwrap the bamboo leaves. Inside is Flutchy. Can you see that? So this has actually been steamed in here, so it actually kind of has the flavour of bamboo leaves. And we're gonna grab a little bit. Again, really sticky. And it's really good. So yes, Timaki. Alright, so those are a couple of the foods and a couple of the traditions that are very commonplace around um, Children's Day or Kodomo no Hi. Um, I hope you guys like this. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So um, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!